I recently switched phones. I upgraded from a Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra to the new Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Seamless transition and upgrade and I am loving the foldy screen. But the upgrade came with one big caveat. The Z Fold 6 no longer supports my aging Samsung Gear Sport smartwatch. I've had this since it was released in 2017 and it has finally reached the end of its active life. So after a bit of searching, I've found the perfect watch to replace it with, the CMF Watch Pro 2. It seems to tick all the boxes. I wanted an inexpensive, hardy, round, minimalist smartwatch that could give me the time, my notifications, and control my music. Any other feature is just icing on the cake. So let's see if it's a keeper. But before we continue with the video, let's keep the lights on here in the studio. This video is brought to you by Sneak Attack Design Lab. They're a clothing company that specializes in technical fashion, more commonly known as techwear, and you can see me in their clothes in most of my videos. I've been supporting their brand ever since I met them back in 2019, and now they're returning the favor. Head on over to the link in the description to get 10% off of your order from their site. Check their clothes out, you're bound to see something badass over there that'll look great on you. Thank you very much to Sneak Attack for this exclusive promo for my viewers. Now, back to the video. So the CMF Watch Pro 2 comes in a small white box that keeps with CMF's and nothing's theme of minimalism. Just a photo of the product and some names here on the front. Ignore the sticker, it's just from the store where I bought it from. At the back, we just get some technical sales details and at the side, we can see a lot of the features listed out. I'm particularly interested about the 100 plus watch faces and the 11 day battery life. Coming from a Samsung Gear Sport that now barely lasts a day, that's definitely a huge upgrade. Upon opening up the box, we can pull out a biodegradable cardboard mold which holds the watch and protects it from bumps during shipping. Underneath is just a little box containing the manual, warranty information and the USB-A charging cable. I would have liked to see this charge via a cradle, but this is fine. At least it makes it easier to carry around the charger. And that's it for the box and accessories. Pretty bare, but then again, this is a watch. Usually it just comes with these things and not much else. Maybe a replacement strap? Yeah, but that'll raise the price. I find this to be alright, so let's head on over to the watch for the product tour. Before moving on to the product tour, I would just like to remind you that if you're liking the video so far, please consider subscribing. Less than 1% of the people watching my videos are subscribed to the channel. Subscribing is free and greatly helps me in continuously creating content for this channel. And of course, is always greatly appreciated. Alright, let's head on over to the product tour. Before we start this product tour, let me get this peel off. Hmm, not as satisfying as I expected. 6 over 10. Anyways, as we can see, the CMF Watch Pro 2 is a very minimalistic smartwatch. It almost looks physically featureless, just a circle with straps on it and a singular button on the side. I bought the grey version so it matches my Z Fold 6, but you can also get it in black with an option of either this sharp bezel or a rounded bezel. You can also swap out the bezel if you so choose, you need only to rotate the bezel counterclockwise and you can free it from the watch body. It's pretty sweet, I'm hoping first party or 3D printed alternatives will be available for this in the future. On the side we can see the crown which can be rotated and pressed and even has a little dot of red, just to keep it in line with other CMF and nothing product designs. Moving on over to the strap, this model comes with grey silicone bands that I will almost immediately swap out for silver Milanese bands. The lugs use standard 22mm quick release bands which makes strap changes way easier. Flipping it over to the back, we can see that it's got the usual sensors for heart rate, SpO2, sleep tracking and whatnot, and a pair of contact points for charging. Alright, that's everything for the product tour. Let's get it opened and set up. So I'll be fast forwarding through this since pairing is quite straightforward, just download the CMF watch app on the play store and turn on the watch and it'll show up on your phone for pairing. Let's tackle the features on the watch before we move on over to the app. So upon first pairing, we can see that the CMF watch pro 2 by default has an analog dial on its display. 
It looks very stock, but very high contrast and legible. Apparently, this is a 1.32 inch 466 by 466 AMOLED 60 Hz display that supports auto brightness. All right. I'm not sure where the ambient light sensor is on the watch, but there are no visible sensors here to me. Swiping down, we can see the quick settings menu. We can see the remaining battery here at the top. The quick settings are a sleep mode, battery saver mode, a race to wake toggle, brightness control, which has six settings, one of them auto brightness, a flashlight mode that you can actually tap to raise the brightness and swipe to change colors, and of course, the settings menu. Swiping to the left or right reveals pages of widgets. Most of these will be for tracking your health and your fitness, but there are also widgets for phone control like music player and keypad for calls. Swiping up, we can see the most recent notifications from your phone. Do note that some notifications on the phone might not show up here, so you might want to check with your app first if it shows up on the CMF Watch Pro 2's notifications. Lastly, we can long press the screen to change or customize the watch face. There are four default faces available, but there are hundreds of faces that we can download through the app. Pressing the crown, we go into deeper controls for the various widgets. Most of these control the health and fitness tracking and recording features of the app, so I won't be diving into them too deep, only the significant ones. Going into exercise, this is where you can set goals for yourself that the watch will track when worn. Same goals for sleep. The watch will automatically sense when you're wearing it during sleep and it will track sleep duration, phases, distribution and whatnot and you can check it on the app. You can also take calls on this phone as well. It has a speaker and a microphone and it apparently has AI noise cancelling. I won't be testing that in this video, but yeah, this is a smartwatch. Don't expect it to sound like you're in a studio. Also, I can confirm that the camera remote control works on the stock camera of the Z Fold 6, and you can even set a timer here at the bottom. This used to be a big problem with the previous watches from Nothing and CMF. Alright, those are the things that you can control on the watch. Let's head on over to the app. Alright, it might look a bit funny here, but I think it's mostly because I'm using a weird sized smartphone screen. But yeah, we can see here widgets and reports for all recordings of the sensors and vitals. Of course, it's not going to display much yet since I haven't worn the watch for an extended period of time. For the second tab, we have the manual exercise tracker, and it's even going to bring up the map. Apparently, this is compatible with Strava, so you runners out there might find this to be a good running buddy. Next tab is Device. This is where we can change the settings on the device and also add new options for watch faces. And lastly, we have the User Settings tab, which is just where you can set your personal information and even give feedback to CMF about your experience with their products. So that's everything you can adjust and customize with the CMF Watch Pro 2. But since this is a personal unit and I paid for it myself, it's time to customize it for my personal use. Going back to my gear sport, I really like this magnetic Milanese strap, so I went ahead and bought one for the CMF Watch Pro 2. In silver, of course, in keeping with the color of the product. I just need to undo these two straps by pushing in on the quick release lugs and install the new straps. Easy peasy. Anyone can do it. But I won't stop there. As you can see with my gear sport, it's gotten beat up over time. I am a relatively active person and it's inevitable that this watch is going to get dinged and scraped. I don't mind that, but what I do mind is wrecking the screen. And this watch has a bigger screen than the gear sport, which means it's a bigger target. So I got myself a three pack of tempered glass screen protectors for the CMF Watch Pro 2 for pretty cheap. And to install them, I just have to clean the screen, take care of any loose debris by using these stickers, then put them on the tempered glass. They all come in this handy template where you just have to peel off the underside, place the template over the bezel, and push it in the middle so it makes contact with the screen. It's pretty easy, even an idiot like me can do it. Plus, if I ever mess up, I have two extra. And of course, as a last thing to add to my accessories to it, I bought an extra charging cable for when I have to travel and I catch the CMF Watch Pro 2 lacking a charge. Now it's ready to grace my arm. How about that? 
looks pretty baller and it matches my phone. So what do we think about the CMF Watch Pro 2? Well, I did the research, considered it and bought the thing with my own money. If that's not enough of a recommendation for me, I don't know what is. Links to purchase the CMF Watch Pro 2, the strap, extra charging cable and the tempered glass screen protectors are in the description. Let me know if you bought one. I'd like to know your experiences with it as well. But for now, it's time for it to face the world alongside me. And of course, tell the time. So that's the CMF Watch Pro 2. If you have any questions about it, leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. While you're there, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot. That's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.